Here we go with the Tri-State Audi Knicks post-game show. Knicks and the Bulls. Knicks up one final minutes. Emmanuel quickly to Mitchell Robinson. But DeMar DeRozan, 15 of his 37 in the fourth. And the Knicks in the final half minute, only up one. Like yesterday, however, Alec Burks, same corner, different court, same result for three. Like yesterday, he puts the Knicks up by four late. And the Knicks hold on the win over Chicago, 109 to 104. Great to have you with us from our Delta MSG studios. Bill Pito, Alan Hahn, and Wally Zerbiak. All right, guys, Knicks now. Yeah, it's late in the season. Yeah. The Knicks are 9-4 and four in their last 13. And Wally, for the first time all season, they've won four games in a row. It is great to see the energy that they are playing with. I'll tell you, when Randall went out of the lineup, it gave Obi Toppin the opportunity to get the start. You see how much his teammates are really picking his play up. You see the energy he's playing with. The crowd loves him. They want to see him out on the court. He's learning that in order to be an NBA finisher at the end of games, got to knock down those threes, got to just assert yourself a little bit more. He's really coming into his own in his second year in the NBA. It's a great sign to see. And this team is playing with a lot of joy. Yes. And that's what it's all about. It's about playing with joy. It's about picking up your teammates. And it's about winning ball games that way. You win as a team in this league, and that's what this team is doing right now. Joy is like the best, best way to describe this group right now, being led by R.J. Barrett and mm -hmm. how R.J. Barrett has been playing over this stretch, almost since the All-Star break. He quickly, you could tell these guys didn't just go on a vacation and come back with a little suntan. Like, they, they, they put some work in. They watched some film, you know, and the way they have approached – the stretch here, knowing the reality of the season, has been it's been fun to watch because it's an under-23 group. It's not as if, you know, this is an older veteran team and these are wins that, uh, you know, aren't resulting in something that you can build towards. Right. So you love to see that part of it, and you just wish that Julius Randle would join the party. You just <laughs> wish that he would enjoy it, too, I because, know. you know, he walks off the court, he throws the basketball away. Your team just got a nice win at home. Exactly. Like, celebrate with your team. Celebrate with Alec Burks. You know, and too much of that is going to be focused on instead of the joy that Wally's talking about with Barrett, Quickly, Mitchell Robinson, Obi, and a lot of the young guys. Robinson, 16 and 12. Burks, the only points he scored in the whole game, uh, fourth quarter, that key three, finished with 27. And guys, we take a look at the game summary. The Knicks able to win even though they missed 14 free throws. Got to clean that up. The Knicks 21 of 35 from the line, and yet they beat the Bulls by five. And we're now joined by Emmanuel Quickly. He's across the street in our Squarespace studio. Hey, Quick, congratulations. You have done such an important and critical job to running the show down the stretch, and you guys are starting to pull these games out. What's been the big difference for you guys when the game's been on the line? Man, our defense is coming through for us. Uh, Tibbs does a great job with the game plan, uh, and guys are playing really hard. And, you know, when you play hard and execute the game plan, you always got a chance to win. So we're doing that. Hey, Quick, last year you didn't have a lot of people in the building. Last year, you got to the playoffs. You got to experience what the building can be like. This year, though, do you still marvel at the fact that even at this point of the season, you get the kind of crowd you're getting where they're chanting for your guy, Obi, to get back into the game and just the way they react to games like this? Yeah, it's crazy. We got the best fans uh, in the world. So, you know, it, it's amazing to see. You know, I'm glad I got uh, chosen by the Knicks organization. I get to, you know, play in the garden, you know, for every home game. So it truly is a blessing. Emmanuel, you look really comfortable running the team. It's great to see what has kind of changed and how have you come a long way as far as being the leader on the floor and running the point? Man, hours of film, watching so much film uh, and just seeing where I could be better, watching other great players, like I say all the time, uh, and just trying to learn as much as, as, much as I can uh, each and every day, just trying to come in with an open mindset to get better. Uh, and guys around me are helping me, and so are the coaches. So, you know, it's a, it's a great system we got. Manuel, thanks so much for your time as always. Congratulations on another excellent performance, and we'll see you on Wednesday night. Appreciate it. Happy birthday to my grandmother. Love you. Now, you guys <laughs> started the show by talking about playing with joy. To me, Alan. You're not going to say yes. happy birthday to his grandmother? Happy first grandma. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to his grandma. grandma. Absolutely. Yeah, come but on, man. I tell you, uh, the joy. Yes. Joy with the birthday wishes <laughs> and the joy the way he plays. Yeah, and he's always been like that, even through it. And that's the one thing you kind of like about him. And while we talked about it, it was a point, uh, maybe like two quarters, two, 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 two thirds into the season where it felt like he was slipping away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Couldn't make a shot, really yeah. getting in his head, really getting frustrated, but he never lost the enthusiasm. Yeah. And he just kept working it. He's told us several times now about how much film he watches. And guys like that become easy to root for. Yeah, and it's also, I mean, the way he's played after the All-Star break has been tremendous. I mean, he's really showed he can be trusted to run the point guard 
position in the NBA. And that's exactly what the Knicks needed. He's doing a great job of it. It's great to see all the hard work really paying off for him. And it's just a really good feeling. I remember the feeling when you're in your second or third year in the league, you have youth in front of you, you have your career in front of you, and your career starting to kind of clear up. And the landscape and the runway is right there for you to just take off. And there are a lot of guys on this team that have this going for them. And that's a great sign for this franchise. And when you have that feeling, you start to just feel good winning games as a team and as a unit. And right now, these guys, it's so fun to see the enthusiasm, the vigor, and the joy and the love for the game. And, the, and just getting into the moment at the Garden. I mean, how can you not be having fun? And this team is having fun right now. It's great to see. I always go to the turnover column for quickly. Tonight, zero. He never turns it over. That's it really amazing. is amazing. Great. How, yeah. how critical is that? It is. Talk about him. Yeah, well, he's got the ball in his hand as much as he does. It's huge. Right? And he was out there again during a critical stretch of the game in the second quarter. The Knicks were a little flat early. You come off the road, you come home. And he and that group, when they came in, that second quarter really just took over. All right. Well, it take us through the fourth quarter. I mentioned DeRozan had 15 points for the Bulls, but the Knicks were able to prevail. I mean, Knicks were up nine. They were up seven. But do you know DeR DeMar DeRozan is coming. In that fourth quarter, he's one of the best fourth quarter players in the league. This was a really great play. Those are the type of plays that are really going to help Obi Toppin out. When he can get those easy buckets, Emmanuel quickly and him are developing great chemistry. R.J. Barrett had 11 points in that fourth quarter. Really helped hold off the Bulls. And how about look at Emmanuel quickly? I mean, this is just spot, winning right? plays in the fourth quarter. Getting penetration, getting the easy two. Zach Levine, they're coming, boys. Zach mm -hmm. Levine at 27, DeMar DeRozan at 37. This is going to be a tight game. That Oof. move cut it to one. The Knicks were up four. The and one around Randall cut it to one. But this was the play of the game. Again, Emmanuel quickly initiates the play, makes the move to get Alec Burks the open three, and Burks the clutch gene the last couple games. Knocks down those open corner threes. It, wasn't, it was so nice to just not see the ball in one guy's hands and just go one-on-one -on -one at the end of the game. It was nice to see a pick-and-roll type play, dribble penetration, a shot in rhythm, and not just a one-on-five ISO situation, which we've seen way too much of in the fourth quarter this year. That's how you win basketball games in the fourth quarter, running plays like that. And let's not forget to the defense, because after he makes that shot, Alec Burks also gets the charge on DeRozan yes. on that drive. And remember, go back to Detroit, he makes the three, and then he gets the steal on Cunningham to seal the game. So Alec Burks locking it up on both ends of the court to get two of the, the last two wins. Barrett, 11 in the fourth quarter. Obi Toppin, 8 in the fourth quarter. Randall finished the game with five points, went only one of nine from the floor in 27.50 in terms of his playing time, 27 minutes, 50 seconds.